Do I think it's socially acceptable to start a vlog in this state? No, I, I don't, I really don't. I'm a little bit annoyed at myself. And yet here I am just oof, wet hair blowing across my face because you guessed it guys, I, I'm late. I'm always late. I'm late. Mum? Are you late? I'm late, <laughs> where are you? You like this wet look? Can you um open my boot, please? Thanks, mummy. Oh, this is this is an actual joke. I'm sick of this. Oh, you drop something under your car. The sock. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the vlog, guys. <laughs> Okay, and you're currently in the boot of my car. Also, look at this cute little, Woo, cute little skirt. Um, so, really, really fun vlog. Going on a horsey holiday. A horsey holiday. Um, some of you might know, I went to Cornwall and I literally, I got, I got back yesterday. A lot of driving to Cornwall, people watching abroad. It was like a five hour drive, just racking up their miles. Life on the road. Um, anyway, I've not unpacked my car. Hey, <laughs> literally despicable, isn't it? Woo. Yeah, haven't unpacked the car and I just figured, can I not do that? Can I avoid that and go ahead and take all this stuff on my top secret fun horse holiday? It's not top secret, you'll have seen it in the title. Um, and just sort of see what's clean, see what's there when we get there. I have popped in another outfit. <laughs> oh, guys, a little, little bit of spot of bother with this, cute little top. Um, these really nice trousers from Zara. Please sponsor me, Zara. Um, little mark on the crotch. And I think the less we read into that, the better. A bit worried. Got a makeup wipe with me. Come off, no bother, I'm sure. So I'm going to pop that in one of these bags. Gee, I'm so lazy and I'm too late to actually think about what else I'm wearing. Oh, look, I can show you my gorgeous like carry bag. Carry bag, carry on bag from Blazing Gordon. Oh my gosh, I'm literally obsessed with this bag. I'm going to show it to you better in another vlog or maybe later on. But yeah, vibes. Mum's looking at me like, why are you talking to your car? Camera's inside. Anyway, let's whack these in and then I'm going to get driving down to Epsom, which is Surrey area near London, below London. 150 miles, I think. Car keys. Yeah. That's where we're gonna go. Hobbit's not invited. She's not cool enough. <laughs> um, it's gonna be really fun. And I'm going to be seeing Tina, Lucy and Em. Yee. Cannot wait. I will let you guys know what's going on more when I actually get there because <sighs> I'm late, aren't I? Enjoying dad's cycling shorts on the uh, washing line there. I'm disgusting. Honestly, it's just like, why am I like this? Oh, why am I not one of those really fun, organized people that just oh, has an organized life? I don't know what I've, I, I don't know what I've got with me, guys. Empty Percy Pig wrapper. Oh, this is great. Another Meg classic. Mmm, galaxy chocolate. It's, God knows how hard it is in here right now, but look, that's just been basking. Carol basking. <laughs> in the sunlight there. I'm excited, but also stressed. I'm in a really odd mood. Laptop, I've got my laptop to do some work. Camera case, I was about to put, where's the camera? I'm holding it, filming. Um, GoPro. It's gonna be really, really fun. I'm just so disorganized. Don't even like these sunglasses, guys. Anyway, I think you're enjoying this. Probably not. Oh, listen to the purr of that Seat. Right, let's get going. See you in three hours, hopefully. Got to go on the M25. Britain's largest uh, car park, it's known as, because the traffic's so bad on it. Anyway, bye. Update on, <laughs> on my disorganized life. So I'm cruising along the motorway and I realized I've not made a thumbnail for this video that's going out in an hour's time and I was like, Oh no! And the thumbnail that YouTube has chosen, because they always just give you like a split freeze frame of the video, was me like, 
and I bet YouTube chooses that from this next one. Anyway, I'm currently in Oxford, which is just over halfway um, on the journey, and I've had to pull over and make a thumbnail. So that's what I'm gonna do, but you know, quite nice to have a break, have a little leg stretch, and then I'll get back on the road once I've done that. Yay! Hashtag professional. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay. I actually shut the of my car because we ain't in the countryside no more. Um, shout out to this Holiday Inn that has the best view in the world. I'm late, but <sighs> literally race course. Race course is there. Crazy. Um, people think I'm really odd in this car park. So yeah, late because I had to stop and do that thumbnail. But everyone else is at the pub. Shock horror. So I'm going to go and find the pub and then maybe I'll show you guys, we'll do a little intro to them, but then I'll see you tomorrow for what we're actually doing. I'm so excited, best job in the world. Um, I need to brush my hair. Ooh, do you know the looks you get when you're trying to vlog? Walking down the main road. Right, I'm getting a bit stressy because I don't know where the pub is. Okay, I think I found it. Look, race cars. Oh, what a lovely evening as well. Anyway, we have arrived at the pub. Let's film their reaction of me arriving <laughs> late. Look, Derby Arms. Shout out to them. It's really like the start of this one. Yeah. Do you mind being on the vlog? <laughs> right, right at the pub, so. Seen a bit. <laughs> Chris and the GPR arrival. Who's Chris, Luke? Chris Hughes. Oh, do you know him? From uh, a certain from famous a popular programme. TV programme. Also, oh, sorry, I he's a uh, quite a good presenter now on ITV Racing. So I'll get the pony now. <laughs> you want me to make it? You can go press it. So make her green. Change. Oh, that's bright. Can you even tell it looks like a horse? Not really. Hey! Wow! <laughs> um, I just wanted to clear up, guys, because last time we had a proper conversation was when I was planning on surprising these ladies at the pub, but they went to a different pub and didn't tell me. So, <laughs> is it bullying? And <laughs> <N-F-I'd>. they <laughs> I think that's borderline bullying. Anyway, we're heading back to the hotel now. I need to get my stuff out of the car. Were you stuck in traffic? Traffic was a nightmare, <laughs> a real nightmare, and that thumbnail held me back. <laughs> um, anyway, have you ever filmed in this light with this camera? No, it's not great. <laughs> Avoid it. See you tomorrow. We'll give you a hotel tour, but on the same front of everyone. Bye. Ooh, morning time. Forgot to do a room tour. Mm, oh enjoy. <laughs> The messiest person I ever did yeah, see. Yeah, look at all this bathroom. Outfit of the day, yay. Trousers with the stain. I mean, it's not really a stain, I think it's makeup. Oh, I've got a makeup wipe parlor. get it off. Right, you need socks. Okay, spot the horses and the vloggers. So, I can now tell you guys that we are actually here and we have come to celebrate National Racehorse Week, which is happening from the 12th of September, just to celebrate the racehorse, really. So we have come to Simon Dow's yard, which is Clear Height Stables in Epsom. And we're basically gonna see how these amazing, incredible horses are kept for racing. You can see some ponies here. So we're gonna see them go at the gallops. We're gonna see them like get washed off, washed down, just to find out what their general routine is, find out loads about them. Also, Chris Hughes from Love Island is here. Let's pop him up, his face next to mine. Oh, what a cute little couple. So yeah, we're gonna meet him and just have a wonderful old time. Morning, Ree, how are we doing? Morning, how, how are you, mate? I'm good, how are you coping with everyone like this? Yeah, <laughs> they're, 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 I know. There's, there's you lot are everywhere at the moment. It's so uncomfortable, we're all like just going into a little space. Yeah, so it's, um, but it's brilliant. We're really excited to have you. It's going to be oh, such wait. a fun day. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, did the chestnut say hello? Uh, walked away, now you came over, Meg. Oh, it really did. Right, let's go meet some ponies and try and get as much horsey content for you guys as possible. 
Oh my goodness, you are a little vlog star. Hello. I don't know your name. Hello, I have. Nice height as well. Probably about 15 too. Um, so, National Racehorse Week, 12th to the 19th of September. And the reason we are here today is to give you guys an idea of something that you can experience. So, over a hundred race, race yards, trainers are opening up their yards to the general public for free to go and have a look around, meet the horses, do exactly what we're doing today, basically. If you head over to nationalracehorseweek.uk, you can pop in your postcode and find out your closest yard. I have like at least seven within an hour of me. It's so exciting. And we're just gonna meet lots of ponies, watch them gallop. Can't wait. Six-year-old colt. It's like we planned that. Like we planned it, absolutely. He's very, um, very photogenic. And he's he's uh, won this year on Oaks Day, 50 grand handicap. He's not a top horse, but he's a very nice horse, and he's a, a sort of horse that everybody wants to own. He wins every year. He's a regular runner. He's a very nice individual. The good top trainers, top riders will 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 tell you. You know, you'll have your slow days and your fast days, and you know, or you'll have days where you're going to stress them a little bit more than you would oh. other. Yeah. Hi. Hi, team. Hi. Can you, can you just yeah. hold that? Can you look at her? She's like, look at Bye. 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 <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Chest wipe for a Yeah. Oh, we'll do it after this bit. Flash. Well, this is probably about banana, so. I've made a friend. Oh, you're a chest wipe. I love it, isn't it? Chest wipe. Did you just do a carrot thing? Uh, we have had a carrot, yes. We have indeed. And he's like, that's a nice white top you put Yeah, on I'm going to make it green. Would you care if some sugar yeah. beets on it? Yeah. Okay, so we're here with Simon now just to ask a few questions about the yard. I'm kind of intrigued to know about like daily routines. How do the horses start their days and like is it the same every single day or is it very at all? It's pretty much the same every day. Yeah. So uh, as I say, I think we talked about it earlier, horses are very much creatures of habit. So they get confidence from knowing what time they're going to get fed, yeah, you know, when they're going to get exercised. Yeah. You'll see as we go around the stables, some of them are a little bit anxious because they still haven't been out. And so the horses that sort of fret and, and so routine is very important. And of course, uh, we've got to balance that with the fact that, uh, you know, the basic working week for the guys that look after them is 42 hours so it's not a lot of time to keep a racehorse really fit yeah we work on the basis of one person to four horses effectively so although we so uh, you know so that and this fashion of how people work with horses has, has changed dramatically in horse racing over the years um, but um, uh, by comparison with other equine disciplines. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's always been, you know, long hours, yeah. isn't it? A labour of love. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sort of yeah, so have been there. Uh, uh -huh. uh, yeah. Did you say that you I feed them at 4am? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, Breakfast is 4am. But I guess if they're working at 6. Yeah. 4am, yeah, 28, 28 horses get fed at 4 o'clock and then they all get fed after they've trained and then they get fed again in the evening. Some of them will have more, uh, you know, like the, the horses are really thriving and they're working very hard if they you know, want another feed somewhere during the day. So, uh, you know, I'm a bit OCD about it and that's why I like being a small trainer because I can do the same thing yeah, with them. Yeah. And I know exactly what they're eating, but I mean, we have... We have one colic every five years. If we, if some, and sometimes God, that's not even that. impressive. Well, because they have to have it exactly. Yeah, same. yeah. So, um, and then they, you know, they, they get, and they're trickle feeders, aren't they? So they yeah, don't want it all. Yeah, the exactly. They yeah. don't want big fat tummies. But of course, they can. You can give them quite a big feed, 
because they will trickle no, eat yet. it. I was do it yeah. Whereas if you gave a big fee to a, you know, a 142 cob, just gone. Stop it! Yeah, absolutely. So you know, so there's 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 lots of different different things. And do they all have individual feeds? So or do you feed them? Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. So you know, one choice. Difficult otherwise. Obviously, they they pretty much have hay ad lib, but but they regulate that themselves because uh, you know a fit horse is a bit like a fit athlete. You know, they, you, they, you yeah, don't actually feel like eating life, yeah. all the time. Yeah. But yeah. they are one trickle piece, feeders, one, and one they, you know, in their natural state, they're, they're out on the plains and the ranges, the yeah. picking yeah. trees and, and grass. And, and, and so you want to mimic like that a little bit. One of the other things that is important to a horse and racehorses without horse because they're so finely bred is that they like to source their own food. And sometimes you can find that with a racehorse that if you provide too much, you deprive it of the need to find the food. And I've had, I haven't done it. I've heard stories of people who will chuck the food in the bed. Because then they have to go and find it. That's interesting. It's a sort of, um, it's one of them self-satisfaction things. Yeah. It's important to understand how, a, to be a good racehorse trainer, you haven't got a necessarily know an awful lot about horses but you have got to think like a horse yeah think, no that's nice i think that really comes across though like when you walk around the yard you can yeah. tell you're very intentional yeah well it's really nice to see but you know with other equine disciplines you see so much don't you that it's actually you can teach someone to pass a dressage test yeah you can't can you? well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not don't me rub it not in. Anyway. <laughs> Or you can teach somebody to be a show jumper, yeah. or you can teach somebody to vent and things like that. You can't teach somebody to be a jockey. You can point them in the right direction and you can give them a lot of, but their rapport that exists between the person and their concept of being a race rider is, some, is something unusually unique. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's different. It's different. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. No problem. No problem. We're looking for in our, in our daily routine work. Well, big thing is um, abnormality. So when we go up onto the gallops, we can talk about it a bit more. But around the yard, what I'm looking for all the time is unusuality, things that I'm not happy about. Here's one thing I'm not happy about. See this dirty nose here? It's not. Yeah. So this horse has a respiratory infection, very low grade thing, like having a light cold in ourselves in the summer. But uh, remembering that the, what makes a racehorse is soundness, so it must have good limbs, but also lungs. It must have wonderful lungs. And racehorses, no horses, are, as we all know, are meant to live inside. They're supposed to live out on ranges and in plains. Unfortunately, racehorses aren't capable of doing that anymore. We've taken away their ability to do that because of the refinement that's been necessary to make them go faster and faster and faster. <laughs> so a bit like people, where people never used to be allergic to um, cheese, Tired. red meat, weird things. Tired. Horses get lots of silly little allergies. And yeah. one thing that they are really allergic to is dust. dust. You remember from when you've lived, it, or you've been yeah. in racing stables. And uh, that's why you get, you get some yards, don't they? They like, um, I know this for instance, some, some yards will base their training on that, the kind of like, the, the air you can get yeah. through sweeping through a yard. Yeah, yeah. Airflow, fresh air. It helps results as well, Absolutely. doesn't it? It's an amazing right. thing. And it sounds so it sounds so minimal, but it's even little things like that. Um, Twelve times a year we have a guy come in, every horse comes out the stable, he goes in with the the, you know, the, the fogger and he, and he's pioneering and a wonderful uh, environmentally friendly really? non-aggressive um, disinfectant which I think which is actually even being used in the fight against COVID and I think it will be uh, pioneering in keeping all horses healthy in their stable environment but um, yeah how they live is very important so yeah you want no dust hard work the hay has got to be clean <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Dad. Yeah, he's, 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 oh, so that's I'm all I felt this morning. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, he said good. this is because he bloody yeah. feeds me at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> he's a sweet horse. He hasn't won a race, but he will win a race. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, you will, boy. If not, I can have you. Cute horse. Chris is having a little no, moment there. He comes back. Watch. Oh. Who's <laughs> bite me? Oh, yeah. Having a nibble, going a nibble, go on, bite me. Simon's actually headed off there, but Chris's still back here.
all day you done that. Oh. How much do you like this? Get a little action shot there. What's going on? Oh, oh hi. He forgets he's got a camera in his hand. That's like me going for a massage. <laughs> Okay, so this is a bit of behind the scenes. Having to clean them all. Do you say 28 stables, T? Yeah, 28 stables. They skip them out all day. They do a big muck out in the morning. I know, I sound like a worker, don't I? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Go on. Full muck out Get in them the morning. Dirty. Skip them out throughout the day and then a full muck out again at 4 o'clock. Blimey. Incredibly well kept, aren't you? Yes, you are. Hello. You're very cute. Clean shoe, that. Good clean shoe. Very important. The heels. Heels are everything, and the foot shape is everything. So the, sh the shoe should come just to the edge of where the heel, so as the foot is properly supported. With a racehorse, he's highly likely to overextend the hind foot and pull his front shoe off, which you definitely don't want him to do. So for years, the temptation with a racehorse was to, and blacksmiths used to let them drop their heels and let their toes grow, so as they almost had shovels to pull themselves along. I think thankfully that practice has now been uh, discouraged because of course it upsets the delicate uh, structures further up the leg and when this horse's pedal bone, which is just here, in the middle of his foot, when that lands, that must be in rhythm with everything that goes on in here. So you can imagine the number of strides he's going to take in his life at speed after, over a period of time, a bit like if you've got um, the uh, suspension not right in the car, the shock absorbers start to wear out, yeah. the tyres start to wear out. So how he's landing and what his foot shape is and what happens to his limbs during his period of being in training is vitally <laughs> important to us and it's going to dictate to me and to the client and the owner and to the horse of course the length of his career and indeed how successful he then might be. How often do you have the farrier in? So for the young horses, the young horses would require farrier every three to four weeks. With a racehorse like him, he would get shod every month. Yeah. But you try to put the lighter shoes on him, aluminium plates, he's got the steel shoes on at the moment, but you put the aluminium plates on him to race. The old days the practice was plates off the next day. Nowadays, we're in, because they're much stronger yeah. um, made, we, we keep them on until they until they need reshoeing. Um, so remember that the majority of so we've got a big heart space in here, heart over there, great big organ, and the rest of the horse is mostly lungs. So when he inhales and exhales, and obviously with a with a race horse breathing, we talked about it. Is, you know, that's that's you know how how he breathes when he gallops is is going to determine how the rest of it happens, how well the oxygen goes around his body, how well uh, the red, the oxygen carrying cells are going to go around his body. My job as a, as a racehorse trainer is to hone his red cells, if you like, up to a point, so that they maximise his oxygen carrying capacity. He's got quite a stocky little shape, isn't it? Yes, it's he's, like a, he's a, a square horse, an unusual yeah. horse, and very unusual for a six-year-old colt to come out and stand like this. You know, he's a he's a very he's a great individual. Yeah. But he's uh, as I say, his middle is all lungs. When he breathes in and breathes out every stride, the volume of air that's going to come out is about would fill with each stride a normal-sized bath, and it's all coming out through. Quite a narrow That's aperture. Narrow aperture. You think of where the where the um, where the um, windpipe comes up into the back of his soft palate, into into his mouth. Any obstruction. Why we were talking about that horse that had the nose. Yeah. Any obstruction is going to um, impact on his ability to breathe yeah. in and out. Bring your hat and boots. No, I should have, shouldn't I? <laughs> I did. <laughs> are you a bit naughty? Yeah, you are. You're naughty because whenever someone backs turned, you get all mean. <laughs> I go. I
Okay guys, let's play. Which horse would you have? We've got the gorgeous chestnut there. We've got another chestnut. We've got this bay. We've got this bay. We've got... Oh, you guessed it, this bay. And of course, this bay. Oh, hi. Hello, you. Hello, don't you go shy now. Don't you go shy now. And then another chestnut. Another bay. Oh, you're a pretty colour. Have you made yourself your own little window? Could put your head out there, but why why do that when you could make yourself a nice window extension? So guys, pick a horse, any horse. Oh I love your face. Oh I really love your face. Look how gorgeous you are. Ah. I like this one. Okay, we've got to be quiet for the rolling. But it might be a bit too exciting. Made him stand up in front. Yeah, he's doing Roman riding. Wait till you watch it. Bloody brilliant. Well done. Wow. And he had a jump from eight years and turned not for me, I'm alright, I don't really fancy it. He's like, getting ready now. This is what you're I might at. stay in here actually. What are you all looking at? I don't usually have a... Uh... It's going to go again. They love living like this, Chris, don't they? Yeah, yeah, this is like... Yeah, sand is just fun, isn't it? They get a bit muddy. Don't get cast now. Doing that balancing act between what's safe to let them do yeah. and where they won't hurt themselves against what's good for their minds. Do they all come in here, Simon? As many as we can. Yeah. You know, the boys are better at it than the girls. We don't have too many fillies. The fillies go out in the pens or they go and get turned out together sometimes. But the, the boys are more likely to roll and the colts particularly. Yeah. But it's great for their heads. And, you know, yeah. As I say, again, if you can, if you can keep... Uh, it's like training any, any athlete, isn't it? They've got to have their downtime. A little bit of a nibble after his roll. Well that was rather good wasn't it, rolling on cue. So I think we have about finished the yard tour, we've just got the walker here, I'll show you guys. With horses going around, it is nice because they get out of the stable loads, like, although they are like, you know, stabled a lot. They've got the walker, they've got the sand pit, they get to gallop. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey. Are you going to pop me in the walker? Yeah. God, I need it. <laughs> um, yeah, like you can tell Simon does as much as he can to just get them out. And like you heard there, like his, their headspace is really important. So that's very nice to see at these big professional racing yards. <laughs> Have a little uh, wash off now. Splash, splash, I will take you in the bath. Just do it up there. <laughs> Where do you want to be washed loose? <laughs> just, the, uh, just the horses being washed off now, thanks. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm just going to have a bit of fence while I get washed off. <laughs> Road trip! Road trip in the car! Any uh, song request boys? Song request uh, Hey got? Chris, do you want to just I bash that, out a little, little rap? Bash out some bars, yeah? I think that Roxette song. Roxette. Yeah, Roxette. It must have been love. It must have been <laughs> Yeah, you love that song. I must have been love. It's a great song. must have been love. We listened to that yesterday, me and Jim in the car, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, heading down to the gallops now. Our chauffeur. I like the high vids numbers. Yeah. Safety first. Be safe, be seen, you know. Yeah. Anyway, we've come to the racetrack to watch them gallop. Look at this. Woo. 
Chris, what do you think? I'm absolutely buzzing to be out here. Yeah. Rate this racetrack? Epsom, I'd give it a nine out of ten. Oh, I like that you put some thought into that. that. Yeah. <laughs> nine out of ten for the history. Nine out of ten. Here we are. For the history. What's the history, Chris? That's <laughs> the derby in it. Oh, yeah. the greatest horse races in the world. 17, Absolute 18. Absolutely brilliant pop -pop. classic. So you can't, you've got to give it fine establishment. Lovely part Ooh. of the world as well down here, girls. Yeah, it's pretty Sorry. gorgeous. Yep, and uh, nice, nice day as well. Yeah, nice. All right, perfect. Interview done. <laughs> Cheers for that, boo. Pleasure. On my merry way. Job done. The race course. We'll have a look down the track when we go back. It's the highest point on the downs. It's also the same height as the top of the post office tower. So, an so I missed what Simon was, well, missed filming it then, but we've basically got a kind of grass canter track here, you can see, and then a like artificial surface gallops there, so two different varieties for training, obviously you get different goings at different races, so yeah, it's good to be able to train on different surfaces. Simon said it in a lot better way, but you know. I'm not nearly as educated as him. Around the bottom of there is the start, so everyone thinks it's an exact U, but it's not. And Lester Piggott, who probably is the greatest exponent of how to ride Epsom as a racecourse with its unique twists and turns and cambers and unusualities, it's a very, and it's a really brave, yeah. you need to be a really brave horse. Yeah. It's an amazing course to walk as well, isn't it? Like you don't, I don't think you appreciate it unless you're here live or stood in by the grandstands or looking down by the rails. You don't appreciate hate. How um, undulating it is. Yeah, how I didn't realise how steep it was. No, like, it's, yeah, it's so like, much. <laughs> it's a real it test. That's why it's hard for like those. Look at them go. These horses walking off after their gallop. Good job, guys. Good job. I feel like I'm doing an interview. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. How was that for you? Brilliant. Okay. Bye. You need to put your seatbelt so, on. So, I will, but if you wanted to abduct Chris, now's your chance, Liz. Yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> you've got oh your God, child. Oh, hang on, yeah. hang on, wait. Could, I could disappear. Oh, actually, oh, you oh, could ask him some questions now, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that, didn't you? Look at the look on your face. Yeah. It's quite nice being locked in a car. Yeah. Lucy's stinking Jeep. <laughs> Is it that smelly? That, She's though. cleaned it out for you. You should have brought us last night. We had to sit on boxes she and everything. Was she was hoovering it for 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Licking the seats, making sure they're nice and clean. Oh. Licking the seats, yeah. What anyway, a day, girls. Good what chat. A day. Good, good I chat. I didn't though. have my hay fever tablet this morning. No, oh no. So, oh, honey. <laughs> yeah, I'm surviving though. I'm alright. Oh, yeah. Can you put I your seat You really are a trooper. Yeah, sorry. Well, that's Lucy. Seat, yeah, yeah, that's very annoying. Very, very annoying. I bet you don't even All right. know. Alright, Kaisen. She... That... Just Rude, to actually, you are. Hang on, wait, wait. In the wait we <laughs> guys, don't don't meet your idols because this one actually <laughs> actually a little bit nasty. I don't want it in the audio. We got we need clean audio, don't yeah, we? Yeah, that's true. All right, the, the rapper coming so, out. So, oh yeah, that's, that's what I'm yeah. just about to ask. <laughs> on the spot. I've been wanting to ask you a question. Go on. I want. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, Meg? I've forgotten already. Spits and bars. Yeah, hey? About. Oh, oh no. the mood is a little bit. Yeah, the mood is a little bit. We to basically. Rap anyone, yeah. Do you want me to rap anyone? Lift the mood a bit? No. Sorry. You know that meme keeps like that meme. Um, that meme's everywhere. Just, just keeps, just doesn't doesn't die. I don't know. Are we going back? No, we're going right. back. Oh, I thought we were going we're to the bar. Like, okay, we're going to the driving back. Very wavy. Okay, so the yard's a little bit quieter now. They've just galloped. Unfortunately, we can't get too close. Oh, hi. To the gallops because you can spook the horses obviously if you're right by the railings could be a nasty accident if you're galloping down and they suddenly spook so we stood quite far back but that was lovely to watch and now we are back in the yard and we're going to do a little 
kind of interview, I think, with Chris. Um, I'll stay tuned for that, guys. But it is fun. I just like seeing all the ponies. Oh gosh, when I say ponies, you are barely over 14 too. I want you. He's so cute. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's so nice coming to see them. And surprisingly, like, incredibly relaxed and calm. I think race horses get a bit of a bit of bad press about being all, you know, stressy and everything, which I guess they can be, but when they're well managed like this, like, their routines are nuts. They get fed at 4 a.m. Like, well, you've all, already heard it. Like, it's so regimented, which obviously horses love. And yeah, you can really tell with how chilled and calm they are. They love a scrunchie. Like, <laughs> all of them are obsessed with this. Hey, you're a bit cute. seeing them and being this close to them. That could be you. Guys, nice. this one's my favourite one. I mean, you've seen a lot of her. She did, in fact, break my scrunchie. Shall we show them what you did to my scrunchie? But I still love you, because you're beautiful. But apparently, the famous footballer, Harry, Harry Redknapp, sorry, Hazza, don't actually know your name. Apparently he owns them. There we are. Hazard's horse. Is this one as well? Oh, great! Great! I like you. This horse looks like a Mary King horse. Now I'm just going to do a story. I think. Hello. Sweeping going on here, keeping the yard looking spick and span. Oh. Excellent job. <laughs> How many times does this get done a day? Uh, just probably at the end of the morning. You know, oh, okay. Tidy up again in the evening, like, you know, yeah. to build out the barrel or something. It is looking very smart. Thank you. <laughs> So I uh, just to show you, these horses have character. <laughs> Here we have a one of the top horses on the yard actually this was. And yeah, just <laughs> look at that, just chilling, just airing that tail out. Why not when you've got locks that lovely? Hearing a snooze.
What did you leave on your door? What did you leave on your door? Is that a bit poo? <laughs> nice. And that is the uh, one of the top horses on the yard there. Just having a bit of poo on his door. <laughs> That's what happens when you rest your tail like that, mate. He's like, you put that there. Rude. Alright, so I've just pulled Chris for a little chat by the fire pit. Oh, that was so love on him, wasn't it? I think you got it. Do you, do you know do you, you know were what? I was that? so tempted to be like... In fact, when do you eat? When do you eat on the island? Uh, which I, I, well, like, what were the what, meals like? Set like? To, oh, sick. Like, nice. They were nice. Yeah, good. We have, um, because obviously, like, no one ever <laughs> sees you eat lunch and dinner, do they? No. Because just when you actually, because we have these things called like, mics around our neck. These things called mics. I am a vlogger. Yeah, is that? Stop. <laughs> that but was man. Oh my god, Chris, what does a mic do? No, but you all know that they need battery changes. Yeah, so no. that was the time yeah. where everyone would come in, do all the battery changes and stuff. So yeah, we 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 eat. We we know by sunlight what time it was because it's like Vegas. Do you, you have never, any time? No, never. No one. You, and also, you know we have those phones which pops up with a text yeah. every time when everyone's phone is like different. So there was no no one knew the time ever. We never knew what time. And we in the up. mornings, just the lights just come on and that's it. You're getting up. Are they quite like? Yeah, me and Ken now? used to stay in bed, and they were like, "Boys, get out of bed. We haven't cast you for love for Sleep Island." And I was thinking, "Hey, I've got that insult. They got you there." Because you know, when you've been away abroad for like too long, you actually quite like the cold and just lying in bed yeah. in like, a nice aircon room. Like, that was so nice after a few weeks, just to like you didn't want to get out in the sun. Like, anyway, which horse here would you couple up with? <laughs> There's a lovely filly over there. She's, Chestnut she's filly nice, in that corner box. Nice she's actually just gone out, but you'll, she'll, you'll see her in a second. Yeah, she's lovely. I wouldn't. But my my race was Annie Mack. I would never. Oh, I, I would never. Waiting for you to. I would never. Going. I would never choose anyone over her. She's just. She's really so sweet. sweet. So she's you great. have a syndicate with her, don't you? Yeah, she's part of the Coral Champions Club. I'm a Coral Ambassador. We've got a few racehorses. We had one that recently retired. He was down at Colin Tizards. We now got another one at Colin Tizards who's had a few heart problems, but. He's had, he actually had his heart restarted, so he, he was back in training, breathing a lot better now, heart yeah. beats good, so um, that was all, all very good. Had the vet down, they do all these checks on them, which is quite cool, because it's very in-depth. It's no different than what you treat on a human, really. Yeah. So that'll be on a race course soon, he will be. Often overlooked as his racing. They never oh, raced before. So we'll yet to that one. Yeah, well, look I wouldn't look too hard. I don't know if he's very good, but we'll see. <laughs> It'll be good fun anyway. <laughs> so, I think for people watching this, like we're kind of used to seeing horses, race horses on the telly, past us on the track. But I've kind of noticed you especially have a great rapport with kind of any horse you go up to. So what do you think is kind of special about race horses that people don't see when they watch them on TV? I think it's just, I think this is always so interesting. When you come down to a yard, it's just, every trainer has their own ways of looking after horses. You don't realise how much love and care goes into them, yeah. even just... But like today, obviously, they've, they've been exercised, which is like the norm completely. But then afterwards, obviously, they get washed down and stuff, but they've got a little sand pit out here, which we saw earlier. So they can go and roll around and just enjoy themselves and have a bite of grass, and then they come back in their box. So they're just, they're looked after to the core. I mean, yeah. one of them, which is going out today, races late this afternoon. Um, I think Simon was saying he was fed at four o'clock this morning. So someone, you know, people don't, you know, when you look after horses, you, you don't get much sleep yourself. So. <laughs> It's a dedication, but that yeah. just goes to show, you know, it's uh, got to be well looked after. Yeah, no, you can really see they like properly treat them like individuals here, which yeah. is nice. Simon knows everything about every horse, which yeah. is, it's really nice to see. And obviously something that you guys can see if you head over to your local race yard during R National Race Week. National yes, 12th to 9th of oh, September. Rest it up. National oh. Race Horse Week. Dot UK is the website. Enter your postcode in there. It'll give you a list of uh, yards which are. I mean, can you tell that he's one with a million odd followers and I've got the old. No, you were all right. You Chris, a man, you've shown me that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that um, is good. Last question is <laughs> give me a sneaky follow. Yeah, I'll give you a follow. She wants a sneaky follow. Not a follow. I'm not a follow. Oh, yeah, I would give. What's your Instagram? Oh, here we go. <laughs> This is very, Wait, did you uh, blush then? This is you actually. Have, she's that's why you were getting. She's trying to get to 100k that. on YouTube, so can you give her a? What are you on? Um, 90. 90k. Yeah. Wait, that's sick. Yeah. That's sick. I mean, <laughs> after my shout out from you, Pet. I've only got like 5,000 on my golf channel. Oh. Golf's a bit. Right. Well, oh, that's it. I'm Elf with no pony, so my pony accounts. You have to follow all of us. Yeah, not just Where's Meg. Where's message? Meg just gets to ask the question. Just type something in. It's not because Meg's not even following No, I'm probably straight back. That'll come straight up on my feed. I don't get many messages anymore. No one really speaks to me. Oh. <laughs>
not. You are a bit of a, a husband. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but... Oh, I don't get it. Oh, hi. You to play finally. after a while, didn't you? You smelt the carrot. Oh, oh. Right, well, thanks well, for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, cheers, babe. She you. loves me more. She does, because you've got something for her. Well, I mean, or can she just sense the... I bet, awesome. I bet she comes to me. It's so, just yeah. like top flirting now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> hey, why are you hurting me? Oh, <laughs> honestly, don't even flatter yourself, Chris. Oh no, you don't. Are. I know. I know. When, I know when she wants to get to 100k. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's, like, she's on the climb. You can have a party. Yeah, I get like balloons and shit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna jump the hundred. Like you know, when you get the hundred balloons. Your like birthday or something. Those yeah, big ones. The big jump one. Then. Oh, what, on a horse, it. obviously. No, on a horse. Oh, yeah. You I think I'd fit through one of them little zeros? Oh, you can see one of them, surely. Nah. Oh, they're inventors. Oh, they're used to it. They're What's inventors, not it? flighty racers. Right, Fab, thanks for that one, Boo. Um, I'll look out for the follow and the shout out. Yep, it's and been then, a pleasure. Uh, I'll look out for the, uh, the climbing followers. Yeah. 100,000, baby. Mm, that's what we're after. All right. This is so relaxing. Oh. I might go to sleep. Peace out, guys. See you in a bit, guys. That's All a wrap. I forgot to tell Do head over to the National Race Horse Week website. I'm going to leave a link below because I keep just saying the wrong thing. But literally, it will pop up a little thing. You can pop in your postcode and it will show you your nearest yard who is taking part in this amazing, amazing scheme. It is so fun and it's so nice to kind of see behind the scenes. Obviously different yards will do different things and you can just see absolutely loads. Some of them will show them swimming and like galloping and all sorts, like their daily routines, talk to the farriers. It is just really nice to kind of be up close and personal with these lovely animals. And of course it is completely for free. So just a lovely day out. You've got a whole week of dates available. So do check it out, link below. Honestly, just feel like today I've had to pinch myself. This is the best job ever. Cannot thank Re enough. We'll have a little chat with her before we head off. And then I'm gonna get some lunch because Mama's peckish. Watching all these people work seriously hard with their horses has made me, you know, a little bit hungry. And also talking about Love Island. I wanted to ask him about um, Garlicchio. Does anyone remember that? What a stupid thing to say. Chris, if you're watching, really dumb. Really, really dumb. <laughs> But I loved it. Got an A-lister here in the house, guys. A-lister in the house. Big round of applause for <laughs> Really Jones, everyone! Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I don't, know, I don't know if I can live up to that introduction, quite honestly. I mean, honestly. that crease is great, but I mean, the talent. <laughs> we were stood in front of Ray. Woo! Anyway, joking aside, thank you so much for organising this. Yeah, you're Amazing so welcome. Day. You're so welcome. So, yeah, this amazing week is organized by great british racing but i work for the racing foundation which are part fenders of the week i've t oh, this horse is yeah, really this horse having is a go on my elbow here i mean you um, did choose yeah, the let's move over to this nice calm bay here i think this is going to be much more um, <laughs> much yeah. more appropriate this is much more appropriate yeah so um the racing foundation um was set up with the proceeds of the sale of the tote back in 2012 and we fund all sorts of charitable yeah. initiatives in horse racing and national racehorse week is one that we're part funding so it's, we're really I mean, excited it's to incredible get sorry incredible that you've got the funding though because it's meaning that people can actually come out and enjoy all this for free which is it's really nice like it's not something that you get to experience very often I find a lot of race yards because they're so busy and like they've got seriously expensive horses here you can't just walk in sort of willy-nilly so yeah, having this opportunity to just open the doors of the race yards as well i just think insane yeah i know and it's just really nice because the general public they see like the horses looking amazing on the tv and, yeah but um it's really nice to like meet them and, yeah because they've got so many personalities literally. as you can tell by us being nibbled to death here literally. um but yeah no it's going to be such a lovely week in september and i'm so excited i can't wait to see how many people sort of yeah. take the opportunity to go to their local yard yeah definitely um mine's only i i put my postcode into the postcode finder um earlier today and my local yard is literally about half a mile away yeah. from where my horses are kept oh. at evan williams's yard in flank nice. in south wales so that's where i'm going to be going in september so i can't wait yeah, yeah i need up. to have a look because i've got loads yeah 
Yeah, you like, were I've in got Worcestershire. One, yeah, yeah, a mile, literally like a mile down the road from me. Um, but then I've got some further afield, sort of in the Cotswolds, which I'm yeah. going to. Cause... Yeah, well, Chris is going to the one in the Cotswolds. Oh, so well, I, I don't, don't, don't know why there. I picked that one. I know, shock. She's oh, like, maybe that. I'll go to the Cotswolds. Weird that. Chris, what one were you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Rhi. It's been the best day. You're so Ever. welcome. I hope you enjoy it in September. I'm sure we will. <laughs> You're kind of stealing the show a bit then, mate. Simon, officially the heartthrob of the day. <laughs> Champagne for everyone. Cheers to Simon. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you for the champers. Okay, let's close this bad boy off. I'm having to change because we just filmed a very funny reel. <laughs> And M slam hey, dunked me. me. Slam she scratched me. Slam dunked me. You know my Zara G, my Zara I'll get you a trousers bumpish, actually started with a little stain on the crotch. Now look. Now look. Comment That'll down below out. the stain remover, please. <laughs> yeah. Get some personal on that. Um, anyway, girls. Best day ever. Best day or ever. best day Amy's ever. Happy. It was so far. Anyway, what we should be saying is head over to nationalracehorseweek.uk. Find your local one, pop in your postcode. Running between the 12th and the 19th of September. Mm. Find your local one and find us because we'll be there. Be there or be square. We'll um, let you know Chris's where we're going to be because we're all going to probably go yeah, to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put yeah. it on Instagram. And then you might be able to see us there. Yeah, yeah, I reckon I'm going to head to the end of the we week. We can do some meetups. Yeah. Yeah, we can do some No meet pressure, Meg. <laughs> meet and greets. Um, yeah, anyway. Thanks it's for watching, guys. It's just so lovely to see how well cared for they are, isn't it? Oh, like, it's like, so guys, treated like kings and Do you know what we need to say? What? Live, laugh, love. Live, laugh. Love you. Love. I mean, it's love you firstly because it's a bit, it's a bit of a take yeah. the Mickey. Love, but love, secondly, you. you don't need to say it because I've got Chris, Chris to do that in just a minute. Okay. <laughs> live, laugh, love you. Like and subscribe. Click the. Uh, it's a bell, isn't it? It's a bell. Yeah. yeah. Click the bell. Hit baby. the bell. Smash that like button. Smash the like. All right. Thanks. I'll be using that a lot. Pleasure. So. <laughs>